So, quite surprisingly, and I'll say unashamedly, I'm pretty emotionally invested in Pokemon, and I find myself caring a lot about the franchise. I've been playing it, watching it, experiencing it since I was a child, and there's an article out today about new changes in the most recent Pokemon anime that's yet to air, and we're going to talk about that today. When you're up and down and you're over and out, come listen to your friend, Stephen Brown, this is the show with Stephen. Welcome to the show, Breaking It Down with Brown, internet news show where I talk about whatever pop culture I want to talk about. My name is Stevie B, I'm your host, aka Daddy Cool, aka Master of the Pocket Monsters. So I woke up this morning, the start of my work week, which is Friday, which I consider my Monday. It's when I start my, my work for the week of making videos and doing things. I make three videos every weekend and then do other stuff uh, throughout the week. But thought, what do I want to make today? What do I want to talk about? There's not a lot going on that I want to talk about, but I come across this on Polygon. Captain Pikachu is reporting for duty in the new Pokemon anime. The new Pokemon animated series will feature a brand new cast, the newcomer trainers Liko and Roy, taking over for Ash Ketchum, who starred in the Pokemon anime for 25 years, and in over more than 1,200 episodes, joining Liko and Roy and Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley on their adventures through the world of Pokemon are our new professor, Freed, or Freed, I'm not sure, and his partner, Pikachu. Make that Captain Pikachu. Freed and Captain Pikachu is very commanding with this little, with this little hat will assist and battle alongside the Pokemon series dual protagonist and the new Pokemon animated series, which is scheduled to debut sometime in 2023. According to a news release from the Pokemon company, Freed and Captain Pikachu will also aid in unraveling the mysteries of Liko's pendant and Roy's Pokeball. Some items, I suppose, that the two main characters are going to be holding on to and carrying throughout the, uh, the series, trying to figure some kind of mystery out uh, about them, I understand. No problem. They continue to say, for 27 years, Pikachu has been synonymous with the Pokemon franchise. Taito Okura, vice president of marketing for the Pokemon Company International, said in a statement, and we look forward to seeing this beloved Pokemon continue to have a significant presence in the animated series and remain an icon for the brand. So we're going to focus on, I'm going to throw up a picture of Captain Pikachu right there. He looks very cute. I've got no problem with that. Let's cut to, also, maybe I'll put him alongside him, I don't know, Captain Freed, or not Captain Freed, sorry, uh, Professor Freed or Freeday, right there. Anyways, what I talk about is that um, I love the Pokemon anime. It has never not entertained me. I've always enjoyed it. I have always had fun with it, um, especially the current um, show, uh, Master's Journeys. Um, and I like the designs of this new Pikachu and Captain, or Professor, I can't remember what I'm saying, calling him Captain Professor Freed. Um, my problem comes down to that I don't know why they got rid of Ash, but they got rid of Ash. And now they're getting, it's not the same Pikachu, they're going to have a different Pikachu, but still have a Pikachu, which they're probably going to make act the exact same as the other Pikachu, which is Pikachu, you know what I'm saying? Now, the only thing I can think about is why they would do this is that they want to be able to bring in the next generation or, you know, bring in younger and younger kids and not have them be confused about who these characters are and their histories and stuff. But Pokemon lore is not that deep, my dude. It's a child show already. You don't have to watch the previous episode of Pokemon to get the next episode, generally speaking. Um, and to keep Pikachu, it kind of feels scummy. Now, I'm actually surprised they're not using Ash's Pikachu and that they're using a brand new Pikachu. Um, I figured they would have just completely kept Ash's Pikachu in it for whatever reason. Um, so I'm glad that they did that. But at the same time, it still feels wrong. Why wouldn't they replace it with a new Pokemon like the... the Fue Coco, Sprigatito, and Quaxley, which are already going to be part of those, have, their trainers are going to have them. And why not use, like, Eevee they keep trying to push for the last couple of years as a new main uh, uh, Pokemon uh, character. Like, why not have, you know, Eevee be the new Pikachu kind of thing if they're going to do that anyways. The bottom line is, when a kid watches a cartoon on Disney or something and sees Mickey Mouse, they're not confused as to who Mickey Mouse is. They don't feel like they need to go back and watch Steamboat Willie to figure out his origins. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think a kid needs to watch the original Pokemon series to understand who Ash is and who Pikachu is, they can drop those hints and explain that throughout episodes of wherever the current series is. It's kind of like Power Rangers. It's a new season every week, or not every week, sorry, every year. Um, there's always a Red Ranger, you know what I'm saying? Um, and of course they change it, whatever, but Ash has been in the show for 25 years. Why do they have to get rid of him and then switch out Pikachu for a Pikachu with a hat? All right, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. 
I just think it's massively stupid. We all like Pokemon. We all want to see it succeed. It's going to keep succeeding, honestly. I don't think it can fail other than, of course, how they treat their video games. But I'll be watching the new show. I'm excited to see where it goes. I just think this is a weird little move. But in the end, it'll be fine, right? Train keeps rolling. Stick around tomorrow for uh, Weeb World with our anime news, and we're going to be talking about the nominations for the first ever anime awards on this channel, and I'll be breaking down how that system's going to work and how we're going to do all that, you know. But if you liked what you heard, I appreciate you hanging out, listening to me. I'd also appreciate it if you, you know, liked and subscribed, helped the channel out. We lost a subscriber, and last week got, like, no views. I don't know what's going on. Uh, if you didn't like what you heard, I appreciate you hanging around and listening to an opinion that's different than your own. If you hated what you heard, you probably like playing Tetris, and you can go get bent. The show is over, but you're still here hanging around. Why don't you hit subscribe?